Hey there, this is Ron Douglas of the National Self-Reliance Organization. I wanted to talk to you guys today about something I'm a little excited, I'm a lot excited about actually. Um, we just got sponsored for building the ultimate working man's truck. It's called the Blue Collar Ford and I'll bring it right to you in just a minute. Oh! Oh! Okay, so the blue collar Ford. This is what it's all about, boys. All right, uh, and, and gals. <laughs> uh, but I, I'm sure most of the guys are excited about this one. So I've gone back and forth on this, and um, I've already, you're gonna see, because I, I trimmed up my beard, you're gonna see that I filmed this a couple days ago. It's freaking cold out here. We're in the middle of winter. Uh, in Colorado. The, the weather is all over the place. Uh, the snow is coming and going and so uh, getting the film schedule done um, and to film this uh, information was, was really hard to do so I wanted to get all this information out there to you guys uh, as soon as possible. So what what is in a working man's truck, a blue collar Ford? So let me tell you a little bit about our project. Um, Blue Collar Ford is, uh, you know, I went back and forth between diesel, gas, three-quarter ton, one ton, half ton, um, you know, and when the uh, the Ford dealer down here, Interstate Ford, uh, talked to me about it, and we, we went back and forth on on what we would do and how we would create this, uh, this incredible vehicle, and... Uh, as you can guess, it's a Ford. <laughs> but uh, I, I went back and forth on it and decided to uh, uh, to give a couple of vehicles a try. So we actually did uh, test runs on, on several vehicles. You're going to find out a little bit later that this last vehicle I did uh, just over 35,000 miles in it before we decided to use this as the project for Blue Collar Ford. Um, and uh, anyway, so I'm excited to announce it. Uh, we're going to cut back over to a couple of days ago when I was out in the field doing it and we'll explain um, some more information about the vehicle and, and announce it over there. But uh, before that, I wanted to tell you some of the premise of, of the Blue Collar Ford and why, we, uh, why we're doing this build. Okay, so, uh, man, it's freezing out here. <laughs> the, uh, uh, the main thing is, is for, for me was um, I wanted a, a, a truck that could be built to handle anything that I needed to, to do. Um, whether it's working in the fields, uh, working here at home, hauling stuff back and forth, whatever the project is, pulling trailers, whatever. I wanted to be able to handle all that. I wanted to be able to handle extensive camping or long long-term camping. I wanted it to handle you know hunting trips and things like that. I wanted to be able to uh, you know be my everyday truck, you know, something that it doesn't matter what the call is, somebody's stuck, uh, somebody in trouble, somebody needs help, doesn't matter what the call is, I can get out there and get in my, my truck and go. Uh, most importantly though, is I wanted to be able to prove that it can be built here at home in my driveway. And the reason why I say in my driveway is you will see <laughs> um, that uh, my shop is filled with my summer project and so we're going to be working on the truck in the driveway in the middle of winter. I know it's crazy, but uh, anyway, uh, I'll get back to the video. We're going to go back over uh, to a couple of days ago and show you what uh, the Project Boot Collar Ford's all about. Talk to you guys later. See ya. I was not going to use this as the ultimate working man's truck because I didn't think it uh, it fit the criteria. And uh, but I've I've put about thirty five thousand miles on it and. and out of that 35,000, I would say about 25,000 of it is towing. Um, so uh, I've been all over the country with it, and I think that this one fits the bill. So I'm really excited to announce this because uh, we got to get this filmed. Uh, we're out in the middle of a field, out in the middle of nowhere right now, uh, in the snow and mud because I've been playing with it. Uh, but. Uh, um, I, I gotta get this announced because uh, we gotta start working on the build process uh, before it gets too uh, uh, too close to spring. So anyway, the um, the truck.
is a 2010 Ford Raptor. Yeah, baby. <laughs> and before you say that this isn't a working man's truck, I agreed with you 100% 35,000 miles ago. I've been driving this truck for about 35,000 miles, about 25,000 of it towing, and I can guarantee you that this is every bit of a working man's truck as any other truck I've ever had. Um, I've had one tons, three quarter tons, diesels, dualies, single axles. I've had just about every truck you can imagine. Um, my first opinion of a working man's truck was a, uh, you know, just a, a good old one ton diesel. Uh, but I gotta tell you, I really don't like putting DEF um, in the, you know, the, uh, that's the new exhaust fluid, and that's a real turn off to me. I'm not impressed with the new diesels. Uh, seems like a, a lot of them still have problems. Uh, I don't like the extra cost of diesel and the maintenance on diesel and, and 15 quarts of oil every time I have to do an oil change. So I, I, I like the gas. I, um, this has got the 6.2 in it. It's got over 400 horse, over 400 foot pounds of torque. I've towed up to about 8,000 pounds with it. I had a tractor um, that I towed with it. I've had 5,000 pound boat behind it. Um, you, you name it, and I just like the truck. It, it works really, really well. I love the uh, uh, the way it performs. I love the anti-lock brake system on it. I love uh, the you know the control system it has. I, I, it's got a locker in the rear, uh, so when I was in you know out playing in the fields out here, it works really great. Don't get stuck. Um, so anyway, it's a great work, great platform for a good working man truck. And uh, I'm excited to start this. So I, I appreciate it. I want to do a shout out to Interstate Ford. Thank you for uh, sponsoring us and uh, providing us with the Raptor. And we will take good care of it, maybe. <laughs> okay. So we just picked up one of my sons. Um, another duty of the Raptor is a family taxi. Um, and I, w I wanted to go over some of the stuff on the inside on the way home. So, first of all, I wanted to talk about the navigation system on here. I really like this. Um, works really well. Uh, you can find your nearest points of interest, blah, 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 restaurants, let's just say. And it'll just list them. Red Rooster, and set as the destination. You can see it's fast in calculating it all and getting it done, which is really nice when you're on the fly and you're trying to find a gas station and uh, um, and you're driving you're, you're driving in traffic so um, I really like how fast it operates um, once you learn how to do it the um, uh, four-wheel drive is is button is a twist actually a twist knob so you can go four high four low and you can pull it to in engage the locker um, and it's all on the fly so you can disengage all that the trailer brake system works really great um, it's uh, obviously factory installed now you don't have to have the little the little control box down below so now a couple of things I wanted to talk about was why I didn't think that this was a working man's truck one I thought it was too flashy and two I didn't think it could do work you know, I thought it was just a show truck. It was uh, one of those, uh, just a fancy truck you go play out in the fields with. And um, so Interstate told me, uh, you know what, put it to work and see what you can do with it. And so I did. I, uh, I sold my one ton, I had a one ton diesel and, um, and bought this or, um, and then uh, started driving this. And I tell you what, I'm very impressed. The uh, the power is amazing. I mean, I'm not missing the diesel power uh, at all. Uh, I'm not missing the diesel maintenance. Uh, 15 quarts to, to do an oil change. I'm not missing that at all. Um, anyway, so as far as a working man's truck, you know, uh, to me, one of the most important things is towing. And, you know, li living here in Colorado, I've towed up and down the mountains. I've towed as far as uh, Connecticut and Atlanta, Georgia. So, I mean, it wasn't like I just did some towing around here, play with it a little bit. I mean, I went across country. I put 25,000 miles on it just towing and uh, very, very impressed. 
the um, probably one of the most impressive things for me is you know I'm a, I'm an old school diesel five speed manual it's like a downshift on the hills when I want to in tow haul mode believe it or not this thing downshift just as good as I would have every time that I thought oh I need to put the clutch in and downshift it was do it was it was already there doing it and I was very impressed with uh, Ford's new setup here and how they're how they're uh, downshifting this thing so uh, uh, very impressed with the tow haul mode on it I'm very impressed with the gas mileage I get about you know I wouldn't expect a beautiful gas mileage or you know 20 20 miles a gallon but you know I get 14 15 um, when I'm not hauling and uh, you know that's not too bad when you got 400 horse on, under the hood on tap so uh, I, I do like that um, you know, you know, I've towed some pretty heavy loads, and I, uh, uh, with the trailer brakes, the brakes on here are great. The stability is great. I've, I've gone across I-80 in, in uh, <clears throat> Wyoming with the crosswinds like crazy. Uh, never had a problem, never had a stability problem. So I've, I've been very impressed with the, with the truck overall. And that is why I finally decided after 30, you know, I really wasn't going to do this project. I was actually going to... Uh, uh, I was going to drive it for a little while and trade it in on a Super Duty, and I decided not to. Um, so, uh, that being said, stay tuned. We are going to start building this thing, and uh, after 35,000 miles, I decided to go ahead and build it. So, we're going to we're going to get put to work on it, and uh, you'll see some videos coming up shortly uh, on some modifications we'll be making to it. Talk to you guys later. Take care.